I also come to this space as an alumni of the school district, both as a student and a parent um, that I continue to serve in here today. As Nicole shared, I am the Director of Engagement and School Climate for the Santa Rita Union School District, and I'm here to speak to you today on the dire need for adequate school facilities funding to provide the essential services for our students and our communities. We live in a time where the holistic, academic, social, and emotional well-being of our students must be prioritized. State and federal funds have been allocated to support staffing in these vital areas. However, we are met with the reality that without appropriate facilities, providing these services becomes an ethical and logistical challenge. Consider for a moment the impact of environment on student well-being. Our schools should be safe spaces where students feel supported and empowered to thrive. Without sufficient facilities, we struggle to offer preventative services to our students and our community, which we know they so desperately need. With an enrollment of just over 3,000 students, Santa Rita Union School District has over 700 identified McKinney-Vento homeless students and 75% of our families qualifying for free lunch. We know that before learning can happen for all students, but especially, especially our vulnerable populations, we must ensure their basic needs are met. Our schools already face the challenge of providing required classroom spaces, let alone additional spaces for students and families to receive physical and mental health supports, health services, behavioral support services, alternatives to suspension and expulsion, family resource centers that offer community partnerships, basic needs support, parent education, ESL, and so much more. As a district, we have seen an increase in staff turnover in the and the inability to fill positions due to our lack of adequate facility spaces. No professional should have to work or student have to learn out of a storage closet turned classroom. We want to increase access to mental health supports for our students, but lack the confidential spaces for counseling sessions to take place. We lack the ability to hire additional staff due to our lack of ability to provide them an appropriate space to provide those services. We know that our families want more parenting classes and opportunities for adult learning, but our facilities are already stretched beyond their capacity. We have community groups asking to come in and provide services that our community deserves and wellness services that our community needs. But we have to turn them away because there is not a physical space for us to offer them. With a, short of a, a shortage of facilities and a lack of adequate funding to expand school facilities, centering student wellness is becoming increasingly more difficult. It is imperative that we recognize the interconnectedness of adequate facilities and educational success. We cannot expect our communities to flourish if they lack access to essential services. We must prioritize the well being of our students and community to ensure that we have spaces they need to thrive. To adequately address the diverse needs of our student population and create environments conducive to their overall well being, it is vital that there be an allocation of sufficient funding for school facilities. Thank you.